our uh, poster says is because it's too cold to ride. Since Sunday, the temperatures have been like at least minus 10, and it's been like the streets are full of snow and full of ice, and it's extremely dangerous to continue the deliveries as they are right now. Uh, so we are demanding that the, that the actual support of both Bolt and Liberando answer to the demands of the workers saying that it's not safe to work to work right now and to stop the deliveries and it's safe again and yes that's uh, that's basically what we are demanding we get an email every day saying we care for your health which is a total lie um, it actually makes me angry getting this email every day and then have to hop on my bike um, without any gear um, that protects me with, from like slippery roads and stuff and um, yeah and they don't seem to care. On, on Monday I, w I took a shift for two hours in the snow and after that I, I got so angry because I also thought of other people that have 10 hour shifts because it's so, it's so dangerous to ride at the moment with the snow. So now we, we, are, uh, um, we are a large group of people and uh, we were talking about uh, the insecurity of it to, to be on the streets. And this is how we organize. The other things are um, most of the people we deliver the food to don't wear masks. Um, I recently had it that I was um, standing in front of a guy and he was like, I, I actually I, I put the food on the ground and he came over and he was like, oh be careful, I'm in quarantine. And I was like, are you kidding me? Uh, last week a driver, uh, I think it was Uber Eats, no it was a delivery rider, died in Madrid in a car accident. It happened also a couple of months ago in Frankfurt. So this is also to raise awareness about the fact that it's not just about uh, being cold or uh, no, it's really uh, dangerous to work in this condition and we risk our lives on the road.